what is going on guys brown here welcome to my channel where today we are continuing on with the f1 2020 my team career mode we're here in singapore and we're coming towards the end of our final lap in q1 and we crossed the line and it wasn't the greatest of laps we haven't really got the downforce um with the car obviously we're still developing it we're right at the back to do anything but let's go into the race as the five red lights go out as mercedes v mercedes it looks like hamilton has just pipped bottas at the start we are going to absolutely send it down the inside into turn one and now into turn three i think that is Oh, now we're side by side with the McLaren, we're going to squeeze him out, we're going to go down the inside and we get the job done As it's Bottas from Verstappen, from Albon, sorry, force of habit And now, we're going down the inside of the other McLaren, we have had an absolute great start there I think we're up into P6 or P7 Unfortunately, I... The race footage of me actually doing the race, not the replay cameras, um, got corrupted. So, I'm having to resort to this as we are battling again with the McLaren. And I think he may have got us this time. But I'm not sure. Singapore has always been a good track for me. On F1 2019, I was so quick around Singapore. I even got myself a couple of wins in the career mode. But... The biggest thing with this race is that rain is expected and we're starting on the mediums and everyone here is pitting with the rain not that far away. I think it's about 5-10 minutes away, it's not that far and we could be having another 2017 as out of the race that's Estevan Ocon in his Renault his engine's blown up there and he's going to go straight on at the final corner to retire from the race and now we were just kind of on our own as we skip on and you can see the spots on the camera the rain is here and for all those that pitted who started on the soft that has completely screwed them I don't know why I know the softs don't last that long around Singapore but you would have at least tried to drag them out and not pitted and I, this is the second lap and the track is so wet now you can see just the oversteer just trying to find the grip to put the power down and now towards the end of the lap through the final chicane we're just skating look at the car and we are going to come in and put on the intermediate tyres because it is so wet out there, so slippery it's like what I imagine Turkey was like um, the other weekend we trundle down the pit lane, it's quite a short pit lane here compared to other ones on the calendar as we go onto the, onto the intermediate tyres and will it get wetter i think it is um meant to get wetter but as far as the full wets we'll have to wait and see but the inters can go far of course they're pretty much if they could race it in the full wet or the dry and you can see the spray now and just the grip there is nothing there just trying to find traction um Luckily, I, I race with a wheel, so I it'd be physically impossible for me to do this it, um, with a controller. It was so slippery out there. And we're catching the back of a Williams, and just look at it, trying to get out of the corners. And it's, yeah, down the inside of the Williams. And he's still on the dry tyres. What is he doing? The track is so wet. We're just overcorrecting every single corner and now skipping on a few laps and it may be time as we drift round the final ground the 
exit of the chicane and skipping on a few more laps now and it is time for the full wet tyres as Pierre Gasly trundles down the pit lane and now comes into the pits and it is going to be the blue sidewall full wet tyres as we are skating all over the place just trying to keep it out the barriers before we go into the pits trundling down the pit lane now and we're I think they are meant to improve it's only meant to be for wet conditions for a little while but as the, that glitch is so annoying with the with the pit stops as we come out the pits now and just look at the spray and there's a safety car out because I'm not sure why it might be um, weather related because it is so bad Valtteri Bottas in the lead and they were so far up the road the safety car's actually coming in but half of the field haven't even caught the safety car we had to literally floor it to catch the, the, the safety car queue so there's only about probably 8-9 cars actually in the queue of the safety car as Valtteri Bottas puts his foot down and gets this race back up and running he's actually keeping the car in a straight line unlike in Turkey where he was doing the best dance and a nice impress impression and now look at the rain now I feel like I've been saying that every two minutes but there's not really a lot else we can talk about right now is the rain is absolutely chucking it down copy and paste of Singapore to, um, 2017 with that dramatic start when the top three got wiped out at the first corner remember through the chicane again this part of the track was so slippery I've never concentrated so much on an F1 game in my life as now Kevin Magnussen we get a poor exit Kevin Magnussen is going to go down our inside into turn one we try and squeeze him out but how aggressive do you want to be to one of the aggressive one of the most aggressive drivers on the grid he's now lost out to Daniel Kvyat in his AlphaTauri and he literally can't see anything I'm lucky that I'm keeping these guys behind me and that I, I can actually see something as these two are side by side then as Magnussen has the inside line but can he get it slowed down and hang Kvyat out to dry he can't Kvyat's still there but he has fended off Kvyat and now through the hairpin and Magnussen looks to have got a better exit that uh, I've done us and he has we've got a horrendous one and now round the outside we're going to have to defend here all the while now the rain is starting to ease and the track is starting as we bang wheels I don't know what Magnussen is doing there he just turned into me which he can't help himself can he he always has to attempt to wipe someone out as we completely lose the back end and this is because I can't show you but the full wet tyres were cooking um, when you go on to the temperature bit on the MFD the the rear tyres were red and every corner I just had no grip so I'm going to come into the pits to put back on the inters but the most annoying thing about this that we were sitting in a p5 position and just trying to keep everyone behind us so we were on for some great points and there's only a handful of laps left so 
we're hoping here that everyone follows us, goes onto the inters, because looking at it now, we probably should have carried on with the wets, but I was literally Bambi on ice. I had every, every time I touched the accelerator, it just spun the rears and I was having to correct everything. But this man, Valtteri Bottas, has kept it together and extends his championship lead. Carlos Sainz, I think that is in the McLaren, rounds the final corner. Rally style skills, just like his father, comes home for P2. And now the Ferrari of Sebastian Vettel showing his worth. He's always been good in the rain. Think Italy in 2008. Rounds the final corner to round out the podium. Then comes the Red Bull. And then the Haas. Where we would have been if we hadn't have pitted. We would have been on for a P5. That... We've completely, completely, completely bottled what would have been our best result since Monaco when we got that P4 and we're going to not even come home for a single point. But luckily, Callum Eilert actually managed to finish in the points, so that's his first points. And so at least we didn't go away empty-handed. We did take something from a very up and down race but I just I just turned into Ferrari didn't I there with the strategy and that is absolutely horrendous oh, oh that's going to be stabbing me in the back for rounds to come we've got an upgrade coming we might do another one but we're just we're just shocking at everything here um but yeah if you have enjoyed this video make sure to like and subscribe call me or whatever you want in the comments i know i'm a complete idiot make sure to come back for russia and goodbye